is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Ash 10 video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Sky Q box. Now, in case um, you're outside the UK uh, and you don't know um, what Sky Q is or Sky in general, basically Sky uh, is basically an internet um, and uh, TV um, like provider. Uh, so basically, uh, you can um, if you're living in the UK, um, like if you're uh, living in Britain. Um, uh, then, um, you can, um, buy, um, broadband, um, uh, off Sky, um, and you could also buy TV off them, um, uh, so, um, you can watch, um, so you can watch programs like Sky Sports um, and Sky Movies and uh, and everything um, which if you have Freeview um, uh, you won't be able to uh, get unless you get Sky um, so uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, on my vlog channel uh, I made a video about Sky Q. Uh, now a link to that video will be in the description um, and basically I was talking about Sky Q um, because um, in that vlog I just uh, it was day it was day one uh, of having Sky Q uh, as I just said uh, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to see it um, and also, uh, I was talking about new internet as well, um, because, well, we, we had Sky before, uh, but it was only Sky plus HD, um, and that was, uh, like, the old box from Sky, um, uh, and the new, um, box, uh, you can get from Sky is Sky Q. Uh, and that was day one, um, and we also got new internet, so, well, we had, um, Sky internet before, um, but we just, um, uh, we just upgraded it with Sky Q. we just, we, we had, um, new internet with the Sky Q. and, so, with the old internet, um, I could just connect it from from downstairs, uh, but with the new internet with SkyQ, uh, I had to um, connect to it uh, via a booster because uh, uh, the internet box downstairs uh, uh, wasn't uh, strong enough to um, pass the connection up here, um, so we had to get uh, we got like um. A uh, booster box um, with the new internet. Um, so yeah, uh, that was my experience uh, on SkyQ. But uh, let me talk you through um, the experience uh, I've had with it and my review on it. So basically. Basically, th this is the first time uh, I've had Sky uh, in my room. Uh, we've had it downstairs before, um, uh, but this is the first time I've, I've been able to watch Sky in my room. Um, and if I just pick up the remote here, this is the remote uh, I got with it. Uh, so you've got um, uh, you've got your power button. Uh, you got your search. Uh, you've got uh, rewind, uh, pause or play, uh, and fast forward. Uh, you've got 
uh, your control button so like when you're in the menus and everything uh, you can control uh, when also when you're like in the sky key menus uh, you press this button here and it takes you back to the program uh, that you have on um, and like when you're in the TV guide if you want to go back to like the main menu of, the, uh, of um, of uh well the home screen basically um you just press this little home button here uh you can change the volume uh you can also mute it uh you can find more information by clicking this information button here uh you can also record shows um apparently you with SkyQ you can um, record for and watch a fifth. Um, that's what I've heard with adverts um, uh, from Sky. Uh, you can also um, flip between channels here. Uh, you can. Uh, you've got these colour buttons here, uh, especially the red button here. Like if you're on like BBC One or something, um, you can press the red button if you want to like check your lottery results or something I don't know um, uh, you got uh, your number pad here uh, for accessing the channels uh, as well and you've also got the sky logo up at the top right here so that's uh, that's basically uh, the functions of the remote and Oh, there's there's this button as well that I, um, I haven't tried out yet. I uh, don't know what it does, but uh, but there's this like kind of ellipsis button here. I haven't tried it out though, so I don't know really what it does. Um, and you've got I've also got a question mark down here, and I don't know. I I, I don't know what I. Honestly, I don't know what that button is here. Don't know what that button is. Uh, but yeah, that's basically an overview of the remote and everything. Uh, it's a bit different to what you would find uh, on uh, all the skyboxes if uh, if you're coming from uh, like an an older uh, skybox. Um, uh, so, uh, what this, uh, box outputs, uh, is, well, uh, uh, via HDMI, um, so basically, what you could do, uh, is you could, uh, uh, you could, you could watch, like, a film or something, uh, on your monitor, um, that's if your monitor does actually have, like, an HDMI, um, uh, built to in, built into it, which mine has, so I can watch um, uh, shows uh, on there if I wanted. Uh, but uh, I'd much rather watch it, uh, watch like shows and everything uh, on the TV up there, um, because that actually has sound. Uh, that doesn't have any built-in speakers, um, so. There's, there's no point really, and plus there's like no like jack to put headphones in so you can actually listen. Um, so there's kind of no point because you you won't you won't be really be able uh, to to hear what they were saying on the, on whatever your program you're watching. Um, but yeah, uh, let me just um, uh pick the box up for a second this is the sky cube box this is what it looks like uh, here you got your sky logo here you got your sky logo here um, let's take a look at the back so what you've got here you've got your HDMI you've got um, your power 
And you got a USB port back here, so you can maybe put a flash drive or something in here. Um, and let me have a look. Uh, you've also got uh, Ethernet, uh, but it says uh, go to sky.com slash Ethernet before using an Ethernet cable. Okay. Uh, you've also got AV on here as well. Uh, you've got a reset button and an optical out as well. So, oh, you can you can open the Ethernet. Yeah, there you go. Ethernet. So there, there is the Ethernet. I'm pretty pretty sure you know uh, what an Ethernet looks like. It's pretty much yellow. There. Uh, it says go to sky.com slash ethernet. Probably should have gone to sky.com slash ethernet uh, before doing it, but oh well. I'm not really going to be using ethernet anyway. Um, unless I want to watch Catch Up or something. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, what you get on the back. If you want to have a look. There, that's what you get on the back. And yeah, pretty small box. Uh, there's a larger one downstairs, but this is a SkyQ mini box. Uh, yeah, this is way smaller than the one downstairs. Uh, the one downstairs actually has like a cube in the middle, and it lights up if you like watching a film you downloaded or something, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this one is much smaller than the one downstairs, but it, this is only a, like a mini one. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool that I finally get to watch Sky programs on here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just uh, leave that off. Don't really need that anyway. Anyway, if you did enjoy... Uh, this review of SkyQ, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you in a few days with another hashtag video. Until then, goodbye, guys!